Her husband is not getting any insurance coverage, and she is so desperate. You're going to hear it in her voice. Uh, she seems critical of health care as it is now. She is pleading with one Republican senator who is most against reform. Uh, that's what makes this for such an interesting exchange. Here is her plea now and his response. Senator Coburn, we need help. <laughs> My husband has traumatic brain injury. His health insurance will not cover him to eat and drink. <laughs> and what I need to know is, are you going to help him? Where he can eat and drink, we left the nursing home, but they told us we were on our own. He left with the feeding tube. I've been working with him, but I'm not a speech pathologist, a professional that takes six years for a master's, and I'm trying to get him to eat and drink again. He missed me so much. To well, I think, first of all, yeah, we'll help. Uh, the first thing we'll do is see what we can do individually to help you uh, through our office. Uh, but the other thing that's missing in this debate is us as neighbors helping people that need our help. Uh, you know, we, we tend to... Uh, the idea that the government is the solution to our problems is an inaccurate, a very inaccurate statement. Government. Well, what's interesting about that is that Senator Coburn just essentially said the government is not the solution. But then you have to ask yourself, he just told her to come and see him. Isn't he the government? By the way, after helping her, what will he do about the other 46,999,000 Americans who don't have insurance and the thousands upon thousands of Americans who say they do have insurance, but like her, they're not getting coverage? We'll ask those questions, and we'll stay on top of that story for you.